Welcome back, Garage Maniac. I hope you're enjoying this video series, and if you are, please leave a like, subscribe, and don't forget to ring the bell. In this video, we'll be working on the drain back system and the temporary fluid reservoir where the pump will live. You may notice during these videos, some items change. This is largely due to finding a better suited part within my stash of leftover parts from previous projects parts found at the local scrapyard, and when needed, the purchase of new parts that really will work better. I would also like to note that this video is not sponsored. With that said, let's get on with the video. Okay, here's where we're at today. Starting from the top, I've got a half inch to uh, half inch NPT piece of half inch copper line to another half inch to uh, half inch NPT going into the brass NPT fitting of the pump um, for that's just for the electrical then for the fluid side here is a quarter inch to three eighths adapter then from here it's going to go into the pump with a you know flex line plastic pipe or whatever um, then to a 3 8 to half inch um, adapter and then all this is half inch to here this is a half inch to half inch uh, male to female um, right here we have a half inch to 3 8 ad uh, brass adapter and then from there, it'll go into the valve. And then from the valve, and of course, this is 3 8 So half inch to 3 8 And then this right here will go into our tank right there. And then from there through our 90. And then this is our 3 8 to uh, hose bib. And that'll go to here and then out to our sprayers now this one here is a hose barb for the brush and I put a valve on there so that I can shut that brush off and then the pressure will go over to the sprayers and the reason these don't have valves is uh, is because the line locks themselves have have valves on them so if you don't want to use those you can just shut those off and they go straight to the brush and let's see what else okay I did wrap it around and then this is a piece of three-quarter inch pipe copper pipe that I smashed down and they're gonna go in here I'll cut them and then I'll bend them over and I'll braise them to the pipe and that way the pipe has something to sit down into and I'll probably do it like you know one you know like three of them one on each end and one in the middle and then uh, and then one over here to hold that up at a specific height and that way my grating can can lay down inside like it's supposed to all right so this piece here is uh is going to be my riser inside the tank and I need to, to switch this down just a little bit more. I already started with, uh, with the grinder, but I need to finish it off a little bit. I want it to go in a little bit deeper. So I'm going to mark it around one inch.
Now this is the piece I just finished making. And we'll go right here. Just like so. And hopefully that'll keep the, the big stuff from going down into my bucket. And if it does, I'll have some, some screening material in there as well to help from plugging up my filter prematurely. Mm -hmm.